I bet my friends and foes would get a real kick about what I'm about to say. Kick over. Friends and foes alike would probably be amused by this. I'm now in the same, precisely the same situation that Donald, my abusive ex-boyfriend, of seven years, eight months together, and then another two and a half as his doormat ex-girlfriend, relying on him to not be out in the cold and to not be thrown out, whatever. I'm now in the same position he was when I met him, only I didn't know that he was. Because he didn't tell me that he was on psychic disability until a year into our living relationship after he tried, you know, for my sake to get a regular job and it, not surprisingly, did not work out. But by then I'd already gained a significant amount of weight. He'd already, you know, been slowly chipping away at myself. Who knows? It, it, it doesn't matter. It, it was... I'm in the same situation now. Ex, with the one exception, I have a little nest egg in the bank consisting of about 14 grand and, and he didn't have a penny in the bank. That's the difference. And it is actually a huge, tremendous difference, but I'm on psych disability, just like he was, but he didn't tell me. Um, I'm living with my mother, just like he was, um, and didn't tell me that either until I came to visit him, and then I, I, I found out. Um, but I didn't know ahead of time when I just knew him from via online, you know, via my stripping website, um, Earthcam TV, I'm sorry, it's my stripping Earthcam TV channel that was far more than stripping because I shared my poetry and my songs by, and my life and my past and whatnot via my Earthcam TV news and message board. Um, oh, and doesn't drive. Donald doesn't drive. Probably the same reason that I don't drive, because we'll intentionally drive over a cliff, okay? I had a lot in common with Donald, it's just, he, you know? He didn't have enough goodness in him to balance out the bad. Light to balance out the darkness, you know? What more can I say? So I'm in the same situation, and this is to address those people, as I'm sure my little, my friend who, I don't even, I, you know, whatever, someone who does care about me because he, she wrote, you know, I wish you the best, and I'm sure I know you're lonely, blah, blah, whatever, but, but, okay. Let's think about this for a second. I look damn good, okay? But I'm not a catch, um, and I'm not looking for a relationship, but I look really good, which means I can get, you know, even a guy who might not want to uh, be with me long term or even short term might want to fool around with me, what not. But I'm not ready to do that yet, so I thought about, you know, hiring somebody just to get me used to feeling worthy, just get me used to being touched or whatnot. Now, five weeks ago, was he a GQ model? No. He was fit, he was taller than me, and he was good looking enough, okay? Um, and I didn't have to pay, but, but most of the guys that contact me are not anybody I would want to be, either would want to be touching or have touching me, so. I don't, it's not something I would do all the time, you know, it's not something I would do all the time, but so what, if I want, just like Charlie, if they want, he wants his hookers or whatever, if I want a hot guy to pamper me a little bit, you know, what's the big fucking deal? So the guy, is, he was nice about whoever this person is, talking about, you know, you're really going to do that? Won't you, you know, that's humiliating. No, it's not. These guys, these escorts, that's what they expect to do. You know, they, they get paid to do that. You know, they get paid to pretend. They get paid to pretend.
pretend. You know? I'm not looking for sex. I'm not looking for any. I just want to be massage. I just want uh, an ex basically, if I don't want a therapeutic massage because they hurt, okay? I don't want even a sensual massage if I can't, I want to be able to choose the guy. So you go with an escort service, you know? If I can pay just 150 for an hour, I don't want to be, I was looking him up yesterday, I don't want to be 250 for an hour, it's ridiculous, but 150, you know? Um, and I would just do it for one hour of being pampered. It'd be more, a little more of ex just a bit of an extension of just a regular massage, you know? Done in a public place, back, necks, shoulders, you know, and maybe just a little bit of, of pampering, you know? Kissing on the back of the neck and the ears and whatnot and just pretending. You know, I, and I actually might, if I maybe can find that without paying, but the qualifier is I want a guy who's hot, okay? Hot guys can get all kinds of women, okay? I have the hotness. I don't have the other crap, you know? I'm not a catch in the other ways, you know? And I'm not in looking, so, and I'm not looking for a relationship, a serious boyfriend or whatnot, so... That kind of limits my options, but I want to be touched again, you know. I don't really think it's a big deal to pay for it, especially since it's my other good friend, good, good friend, was worried that I'll, do, you know, he's, he's actually suggested me to do this before I even, he doesn't even know about my videos before. I don't know if it's on private where I was talking about hiring an escort. I, I never did it. Because it was winter here in Massachusetts. I didn't do much of anything. didn't even get my hair cut for a, almost a year. You know, I hibernated. Um... Anyway, I don't think it's a big deal. It's not something I wouldn't I wouldn't do it all the time, but I just do it once. And you might think, well, how will once satisfy you? Well, like I said, did it five weeks ago. Plus, I even got my feet. Never in my life did I experience that feet rubbed. I've had my feet rubbed before. I'm sure I've gotten some kind of reflexology massage, but not sensuously. My feet made love, my feet rubbed and licked and, and whatever, you know, and, um, and that was an added bonus. Um, and I liked it. I liked it all. I liked it all. And I was completely safe. It was the middle of the day. It was at the mall. It was in his car, middle of the day. He, I, it started off in the mall. It was supposed to only be in the mall. Just where he was gonna, he agreed to do it. Massage my back, neck, and shoulders in the vault mall. Didn't think he'd agree to do it, but you know, we could put offers out there on Craigslist or whatnot. You know, someone is offering a massage well, or wants to massage someone for free. You just never know with people. You can say, well, would you be interested in doing this? And most guys will say no, and then you just never know. Um, they don't make the decision until they know what you look like. You know, and vice versa. Um, but I liked that, and I want a repeat of it. No, not that I'm get the feet part, but you know, I never heard from that guy again. Um, I want a repeat of it, and I'm willing to pay for it. But only if I'm gonna pay, it's gonna be with someone hot. Just like Charlie's gonna pay for hookers, he wants a hot hot. He's not gonna pay and have you know. If I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna get exactly what I want. And I don't think it's a big deal because it's helping me with my confidence. It's helping me feel like a, you know, a deserving, worthy, of pleasure, sexual creature, sexual woman. Again, you know, Donald destroyed me. He destroyed my self-esteem slowly, chipped away at every ounce of it. He, he destroyed me. I can't believe I even made it. I can't believe I'm still alive. You think in light of all the shit I've been through over these years, I'm really going to care? I mean, I respect what people write. I respect them that they think, well, are you going to hire someone to service you? Yeah, or in like a PG-13 way. Not at not sex. Oh. I don't want just sex, and I don't want these guys who just want a one-time sex thing, you know? 
Um, but I also don't want a relationship. So I guess I want an FWB. You know, I've had those in the past. That guy who wrote Desert Rose for me, he was my... He was an FWB, most definitely. He cared about me, and you know. We weren't going to be boyfriend and girlfriend, no way. He started off as a musician and had no time, and then he, you know, but he gave that up. But anyway, so that's the deal. This is all designed, even being around my shelter friend like I was today, it's all designed just to, and discussing her online dating adventures and whatnot, and how these men are, and how you, 99.9% of the men, just, you're not attracted to at all, no matter how nice their profiles are, how nice of letters they, mess, personal messages they write to you, or whatnot, you know. Um, it's all about me wanting to be touched with, with no risk, okay? And I'm sorry, there's always a risk unless you do something that, that's just, there's no risk at all. Okay? It's not like every guy in the world is going to jump at something like that. I couldn't believe that guy was willing to massage me in the mall. <laughs> and you turned out to be hot. I'm sorry, I knew that ahead of time, but you never know. People lie. You know, so. And I knew he wasn't disappointed in me either. So we spent hours together. He just, I think he just thought I was weird. I'm sure he did. I had my shoes. He's like, you wear three pairs of socks. I think he just thought it was weird. No, you know, I have to accept my limitations. Um, and I am weird. And I admittedly, I told him, I said, I told you I was weird. He's like, you wear three pairs of socks? I'm like, yeah. I have expensive New Balance sneakers that, that, you know, they're 11 wide, and, and, and they might be a little, it's better to have sneakers too big or too small. I can't find socks w thick enough, and it's too much of a trial and error thing. I just wear three pairs of socks. He thought that was strange. He said so. And we were, I was returning something at, he was kind of strange. I was returning something at Macy's. And I was very nice to the salesperson. He's like, she didn't like you. I'm like, what do you mean she didn't like? She didn't like you. I don't think she liked you. Well, first of all, what the fuck do I care if the saleswoman at Macy's, she was an older woman, didn't like me. I didn't do anything to her. I was nothing but nice. I'm always nice to salespeople unless they do something intentionally that really, really pisses me off. Um, he did say, so she didn't like you. He was a half hour late, too. If he had been five more minutes, I mean, he was 20. I had told him I would have made more than a half an hour. And five more minutes, I would have left. I have no idea why I didn't hear from him again. I wish I had. We'd always established, we'd already established the, the, you know, I could actually have seen myself sleeping with him eventually. Um, but I didn't want to think we had anything in common. I told him, like, we don't have anything in common except our mutual attraction to each other. Don't know why I never heard from him again. I think he probably thought I was strange. Well, he might like touching me, but he thought I was strange. Um, and that could be the case with a lot of guys, but, yeah. Anyway, that's my take on this. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think it's a big deal. Especially since men and women, more men than women, you know, hire prostitutes. You know. I just don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's degrading. I don't think it's humiliating. I don't think it's any different than going to a place and getting a massage, you know? I'm sure I want a little bit more than a massage, but all done in public, so I'm not, you know, totally safe. We don't treat him as far as I'm concerned. I deserve it. I have the money. People do all kinds of things with money. They get involved in drugs and, and women and you know prostitutes and drugs and, and 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 gambling and whatnot. You know. So what if I want a little little TLC on my neck neck kissed and lit? Cause Donald never did it the entire eight years I was with them. 
or my ears nibbled on or whatever, you know. Cause Donald never did that the entire eight years I was with. Seven years, eight months, sorry, you know. Am I going to apologize for that? No. I shouldn't even be alive. I shouldn't even be alive. If I want that little bit and I'm willing to pay for it because I have the money, you know, it's not like I would do it all the time and deplete my money. I don't do shit like that. I still have a lot of money left because I haven't wasted it and gone on buying $500 purses or something. All that shit I don't care about. I don't care about any of that. I really enjoyed what that guy did to me five weeks ago. Okay? I enjoyed it. And I enjoy it because I was attracted to him. Like I said in other videos, I'm done being with any man I'm not attracted to. Period. Don't care. Not that fussy, believe me. Neither is my friend. Okay? Not that fussy, but, you know. Anyway. I don't know where my mom is. I don't have a cell phone. It's not like she can call me. Don't even know if she'll be home. I didn't get any sleep last night anyway, and I walked a lot today. Walked and walked and walked as usual. Um, I might just go to bed. I think I'll go to bed. I bought vanilla Greek frozen yogurt. I was going to make one of my smoothies with, with the frozen yogurt, which makes some taste ultra delicious. It's a, it's a treat. It's not something we have all the time. If my mom's at home, I was going to make it for us, you know. Try to make up for being quote unquote mean to her this morning, you know. I had very little little time to get ready and, and she just like I said in the other video drew me fucking up a wall. Mom, you said the twenty, you put it in my purse. Why would you tell me you did? I thought I did. But I thought I even saw you. What the fuck? What if I hadn't checked? What if I hadn't checked? I would have gone and not had the money to pay. I mean, this is we're serious crap here. My whole day would have been ruined and I had a freaking hair appointment. That's far, far, far away from where we live. I mean, this is important shit. And then I wound up almost missing the bus because she just, we were, I was yelling at her and just like, just ridiculous mom. And then I get upset too because I get scared when she does crap like this, you know? Like I said, she wouldn't even have known that crap was in her back pocket. And she doesn't want to believe she slept in it, but I would not be a bit surprised if she did. She could not remember when it was from. She first tells me, oh, Angel didn't go to the bathroom today. Okay. Because she handles Angel, her dog, her Bichon, and I handle Omar. Um, we're walking, and there's one bag here. She was in Angel's crap. And I said, what's that other bag in there? She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, there's a bag in the... It turned out to have crap in it. I'm like, Mom, you didn't throw the crap away. And you told me Angel didn't go to the bathroom today. She, she wants to deny it, of course. I said, you must have slept. I didn't sleep in it. But, Mom, you can't remember if Angel... Well, maybe she did. Mom, come on. I know you don't want to believe you slept in the crap, but it wouldn't surprise me a bit. You sleep in the same fucking clothes. You wear them. You sleep in them. Then day after day after day, you wear them. And the only reason you stop doing it is because I give you a hard time because I don't want you to see you stagnate into nothing. It takes two seconds to change your clothes. People wear the same clothes every day like I had to do in this shelter. Um, and I actually didn't have to do I had some, you know, some people have to do in the shelter because they only have, that's something different. My mom has clothes. She does not have to be wearing the same clothes. It's just laziness. And I don't like to see her like that, okay? I don't like it because it reminds me of even what her friend said, you know, she might wind up in a home sooner rather than later. And that will be horrible. And she won't be able to be with the dogs anymore, you know? I have the means now, I can't, I mean, I have the means to care for both dogs, but, you know, I just, I don't want to see that happen to my mom. And I feel like it's inevitably going to happen if she's in this condition. She didn't throw the cocker away. She left it in her back pocket, and my gut instinct tells me since she had insisted, I believed her when she said Angel hadn't gone that day, That and she doesn't want to believe that, so she'll deny it. She'll be in denial. I didn't sleep with it, because for her that's horrible, and how could she have done that? I'm like, Mom, I don't know what to tell you. You can't remember to throw the cocker away. You put it in your back pocket. 
you at least slept on it today while you were napping on the couch for hours, even if you didn't sleep overnight, which I really believe you did. You were in the same pants as yesterday, right? So am I right or wrong? Isn't that another indication that I'm right? That it's another reason for her to not wear the same clothes day after day after day, isn't it? How long does it take you to change? She's got nice clothes. She's making money off of me being here, okay? All right? She's making money off of me being here. We buy her clothes. She buys clothes. I help her pick them out. She can at least change. She also has tons of old clothes that still look good. They didn't fit her when she was heavier. She just, she's a, she hoards clothes. She has clothes from 10 years, 15 years, you know. She has lots of cute clothes. The only reason she doesn't change her clothes is laziness. I don't want to see her like that. She's only 66 years old. Okay, she's not 80. So yeah, am I a little hard on her? Yeah, I am. I am. Especially when things like that happen, like happened a month ago or whatever. Cut her in her back pocket. She didn't know it was there. She wouldn't have known it was there. I told her it was there. She would not have known. She would have slept in it the next night. Okay? Definitely. She doesn't want to admit it. Just because you don't want to admit something is, doesn't mean it's not true. Understand? The real I said, Mom, you told me Angel hadn't gone to the bathroom today. That cuck has got to be from yesterday when we went for walkie walkie. No, it's not. Mom, I know you don't want to believe that you slept in the cuck, but I have a feeling. No, I didn't. You know, just denial. It's her mental illness. Well, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know? I witnessed all this crap that I wouldn't have witnessed had I not moved in here and all. It does scare me. It scares me. It's reality. It scares me. You know, you multiply that by all things. Cut her in the back pocket. She forgot to throw it away. She says, no, her memory's horrible. Yesterday, she told me she put the 20 in my purse. I thought I even saw her do it. So what happened to the 20? I would have got to where I needed to pay it to get far away to get to my hair appointment. And I would have been plumb out of luck. Okay. I wouldn't have had the money. Wouldn't have made it to my appointment. Would have had to go and find some store somewhere to get cash for my credit card. You know. That's why my shelter friend is tells me you gotta cut yourself some slack Laura, but you also have to get out of there and of course when I even hinted if I'm gonna get out you know my mom doesn't want me to leave and I don't wanna you know her sister's gonna die soon the one of us pancreatic cancer she's gonna die soon she, she's on hospice she even said herself that she hopes to live to July 4th you know she's being kept alive by stints and operations and draining out her stomach and putting things in that have to be drained I mean, it's just horrible and you're gonna condemn me Nicely. I know you're lonely. I, I, I wish you the best, but you really want to do that to yourself and be, have that humiliation? Big deal. It's an escort. I'm not hiring them to fuck me. I'm just hiring them to touch me a little bit because I need to be touched. I'm going fucking nuts. Okay? I don't think it's a big deal. I have the money. If I have the money and what I want is to be t have my back, neck, and shoulders massage, have a guy lick my ear and nibble on my neck and, and kiss my neck and tell me how beautiful and sexy and desirable I am and whatnot, if it's all fake, who cares? I could buy a $300 purse, you know? You get it? If that's what I want and I'm willing to pay for it once in a while, if I can't have what you normal people have, the relationship and the whatnot, then I deserve to have something. If I have the money to pay for it, who am I hurting? Seriously. I'm barely holding on, you know? Too much. Too much. Too much.